Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Bienvenidos. I feel like I haven't been on here in a while, but it's only been like a week because we had 4th of July and then I was out for the weekend. But I am back and I'm showing you today some of my favorite hair care products as of right now after dyeing my hair. Some of these I even used before I went lighter when I had my brown hair. So I'm just going to show you some of my you know favorite hair things, how I curl my hair, which I feel like I've shown you guys before as well, but I'm just kind of showing you again how I've been doing it lately because I do it a little bit different now. But it's going to be a little chatty video because I do show a lot of hair things. Hopefully it's not too, 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 too overwhelming because I do show you a lot of hair products. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. <coughs> <coughs> right now my hair is looking real good. I did trim my hair as you guys saw in my last hair video. But I trimmed it even more ever since that video. This is pretty much how short it is right now which is not much actually i took about maybe an inch or so a little over an inch inch and a half i'm just going to show you how i curl it and some of the things that i like to use on my hair i don't know if i should curl well first i should have put on my lip color because i look a little bit weird like this and by the way i applied uh nyx lip liner this is the suede matte lip liner in sandstorm and it's super, super similar to Strip Down by MAC. The curling iron that I'm using is this one from Conair. I've mentioned this before. I got this a long time ago. I think I got it at like Walmart or Target for like 20 bucks or so. Super cheap. I go between this one and I have another one. Let me show you real quick. This one is from Pro Beauty Tools. Again, it was super cheap. I think I got it at Target or Walmart, something like that. And this is a one inch curling iron, I wanna say. So I will use that one. And then I sometimes go in and make smaller curls in the front with this one, or I'll just use this one. Either way, I alternate between these two right here. I do also have the T3 micro curling, like the curling wand where you can switch it out and all that stuff. I don't even use that one just because I like the barrel to have a clamp and I don't have the attachments that have the clamp. Um, one thing I do need help with from you guys is if you have any recommendations for a, what is it, what am I trying to say? A heat protectant once your hair is dry. I did put some before blow drying and straightening it but right now I don't have one for once my hair is dry. So if you have any recommendations for that, any of your favorites, let me know. But my hair's been looking and feeling a lot better. It's still super shiny, as you can see. In the last video that I did where I was cutting my hair on camera, it looked super dry and like damaged before I cut it and all of that stuff. But you can see now that my hair does not look super damaged. All right, my hair is now completely curled with the one and one fourth curling iron. You can see it adds volume, but it's not a super, super tight curl, especially this side, it's already kind of fallen. I like this curl for the days where I just, I'm gonna be running around and I want to add some bend to my hair, you know? But if I want my curls to really last, I have to go in with that second curling iron but before i do that i do want to add a little bit of hairspray and texture spray which i like to use these two right here this is my l'oreal l net satin hairspray 
and this one is my IGK Beach Club Texture Spray. I also like the, what is it called? I have it over here. Triple Sec 3-in-1 by Dry Bar. And then the Way Wave Spray. For today, I think I'm just going to stick to this one. I love the way that this one and this one smells. I don't love the smell of this one. I washed my hair yesterday. Was it yesterday? The day before yesterday? So it's still very clean. It doesn't have much texture to it at all, which is fine. But if I want my hair to stay, that's not fine. So I am going to spray some of this very little because this makes the hair a little stiff. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I think that's good with the volume. I'll do the hairspray after I go in with that second curling iron. I mainly ran that curling iron through these top layers up here just so you can see more of that curl towards the top. Let me kind of show you the back. So it added a lot more curl to the top layers without adding heat to the bottom ones. So now that my hair is pretty much all curled, I already did the texture spray. I hate that my hair curls differently on this side than it does on this side. I'm gonna put a little bit of my hairspray just to really make sure that the curls stay just a little bit because I don't want to do too much to product. I do want my hair to last me a few days. So I sprayed some of the hairspray on the tips of my fingers and then I'm just going to rub that through the little flyaways I have in the front. And since we did do the texture spray and the hairspray and the curling and all of that stuff, I want to add a little bit of oil to my hair just to add more shine especially to the ends of it and my favorite one right now is the way hair care hair oil you can see I've already gone through pretty much the entire bottle I do need to get another one this is the second or third bottle that I've gone through already That's everything that I do pretty much when my hair is straightened or curled. Now let's talk about some like the deep conditioners, the treatments, stuff I use in the shower and after the shower or when my hair isn't curled or straightened. Before we even get into that, something that I use in the shower when my hair is straightened out or curled or whatever, if I just don't want to wet it, I will use a shower cap. This one is from, I think Sally Sally's. You can get them anywhere though. Amazon, beauty supply store. I like to use this to prevent any water from getting on my hair because then my hair gets frizzy, it gets curly, it just does not, it doesn't look the way I want it to look, especially if I want my hair to last. So I put this over and it covers literally everything. And then I get out of the shower, take it off, and my hair is straightened. It's not frizzy. There's no water. There's no dents. There's no nothing. For the days that I am washing my hair, I like to use my Matrix Biolage Color Last Shampoo and Conditioner. I got these. I don't even remember when I got these, but I got these a while ago and I still have a lot in here and i do have backups as well just in case i run out they don't come with the pumps by the way i get these at ulta and every once in a while they go on sale they're usually like 30 35 dollars for one but every once in a while they go on sale i think for like 12 50 or something crazy like that so you can just always be on the lookout for whenever they have them on sale but what was i saying yeah they didn't come with the pump the pump comes separate, but you can pay, I think it's like three bucks per pump. But if you go when they have that sale, the pump is only a dollar, which is crazy. Yeah, these are great. They're for color, which is really nice. And they aren't stripping on your hair. They don't make your hair dry. They smell really, really good. So I use these on the regular. And they have really good reviews on the Ulta website as well. And then on the days where I really, 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 really wee, want to clean my hair really 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 well i will use this um redken clean manic maniac clean maniac hair cleansing cream and this one i also asked 
my hairstyle with my hair colorist if she recommended me to use this once a week and she said to try to avoid using this until the day before i go back to get my hair dyed again so i haven't used this ever since i've gotten my hair lightened i'm not sure exactly what it would do to the hair i think she said that it would strip the hair and it would kind of remove like the pigments i believe that's what she said don't quote me but I haven't touched it. I'm scared to even put it on my hair because I don't want to mess up the color or anything. But I am going to be using this a few days before I go in to get my hair lightened again. So um, if you don't have your hair colored or lightened, I would recommend using this once a week for a very, very, very deep, squeaky clean cleanse. Many of you guys already know that when you have your hair colored lighter, you need some kind of toning or you need a purple shampoo in my case i use a blue shampoo and blue shampoo helps with hair that has more browns in it so my hair is more of a caramel like a caramel bronze. it does have hints of blonde but it's more on the brown side if that makes sense i use this matrix total results brass off a color obsessed shampoo and i also use the this is like a leave-in mask yeah a custom neutralization mask my hair colorist recommended to get the mask so these i use them on those days that i do wash my hair and this is blue it's recommended that you use gloves with it because it does come out like a blue color i can't even show you but it's a thick blue mask i feel like it takes away most of the brassiness i do still have some just because my hair i've mentioned before it just lifts super brassy super super brassy until i get it to that really light color then that's when it probably won't be as brassy as quick but right now it does pick up a little bit more on the orangey side so i do make sure to go in with those every single time that i do wash my hair one of the things that i do make sure that i always do is a deep condition my hair and i like to use this macadamia natural oil deep repair mask i've been using this for years already it smells really good first of all it smells amazing and a little bit goes a long way with this one trust me on that it is more on the pricey side i think this one right here this is eight fluid ounces i think it was like 20 dollars, 25 something like that then they have a bigger tub that's like 30 35 dollars but i just got this one it lasts a very long time you will feel feel the results in your hair instantly after washing this off i promise you that your hair will feel so silky and smooth this one i do use it in the shower obviously and then i leave it on for about five to ten minutes as well and then after i get out of the shower i go in with my unite seven seconds detangler this product right here and this one right here i'm actually gonna go on my instagram right now and check for the name because it was recommended to me by one of you guys connie sosa is her instagram name but shout out to you girl because you got me onto this right here and you reminded me about the um brass off shampoo from matrix this right here smells so good too let me just spray it because i love oh it smells like you just got out of the salon and you know that smell that your hair has and you always wonder like how do they get my hair to smell this good well i think it's this thing right here so this helps to detangle your hair but i think on here it also said something about heat protectant it has protein and moisturizers is a favorite on all hair types from ultra fine to thick and unruly a must to use before heat styling swimming and on chemically treated hair there is no doubt that you will fall in love in seven seconds and that is so true i put it on my hair i got out of the shower put on my hair detangled my hair and i was like oh my god i freaking love this thing it is again on the pricey side a lot of salons carry this but i'm gonna go back and get more of it because i loved it that much and i was looking for some kind of detangler along with like some heat protectant like just something that would make my hair feel good while i'm brushing it and also smell really good and that right there is everything that i was looking for so thank you connie for that it's it's everything and more i do have some things that i use when i have my hair just naturally 
wavy naturally curly and i don't straighten it or whatever so let me show you those and these are just basic drugstore ones and some are like old school faves but um i like to still scrunch my hair i don't know about you guys i don't know if it's just me but i still use mousse and i like this one from tresemme this is the extra firm control level four i'll even use this in my hair when i want to wear a sleek low bun i just love mousse i still use mousse all the time and gel i still use gel in my hair as well to scrunch it up put it in a bun once again or for slick buns i love the tresemme ones these are like old school faves of mine and this one right here i have it in the level five but then also another gel i use is the got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel for my slick buns and also for my little baby hairs whenever i want to bring them out and stuff like that i will use this i feel like i'm out of breath because i've been talking so much and showing you all kinds of hair things but i will put links below that way it's easy for you guys to like shop them see what they're all about and all of that stuff so i'll have that down below make sure to follow me on my instagram i've been posting a lot more recently and i've kind of up my quality if i do say so myself so make sure to follow me there thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all los quiero mucho and i will see you all in my next video not into wasting time i was just doing fine Days i just jumped in my ride take a little sip privacy on the door i'ma make this shit work with your head down nice all you gotta say I can see why all these basic coats Everything I get you get a piece Why you can't sit back and be my piece You the only one I'm trying to make love to Kick it into there They don't know nothing cause they know I'm about you